A BMT is a commitment to your child's health. The Aflac Cancer Center BMT team gives you and your child the support you need. A transplant can help a critically ill child survive an otherwise deadly disease, or even just live a more normal life. There are many options for a BMT. The Aflac Cancer Center BMT team will carefully evaluate what is appropriate for your child and your family. BMT stands for bone marrow transplantation, and it's basically the process that we take bone marrow, either the patient's own bone marrow, that's an auto transplant, or somebody else's bone marrow, that's an allo transplant, and give it to the patient. Um, and the reason we do that is the bone marrow actually serves to cure a lot of diseases, uh, including malignancies and also some non-malignant diseases like sickle cell disease. Um, so there are three different sources of stem cells that we use for transplants. There's a bone marrow product where we go into the bone and get the stem cells. There's a peripheral blood stem cell source where we actually get the stem cells right from the vein. And there's umbilical cord blood where we get stem cells from the uh, umbilical cord after a baby's born. Each sibling has a 25% chance of matching the patient. And if there isn't a match in the family, I run searches through the National Marrow Donor Program or the NMDP. The NMDP is the National Blood Stem Registry in the United States. And when I do search them, it affords me the opportunity to look at over 11 million blood stem cell donors and cord blood units worldwide. Before either the autologous transplant or allogeneic transplant, people usually have to go through a high dose chemotherapy that usually takes about seven to 10 days to accomplish. And we also use a very unique calendar to help us to know which stage are you in during the transplant process. So the calendar actually started on day minus. So when you come to the hospital, you will start on day minus. For example, on day minus seven. So from day minus seven, day minus six, day minus five, those count down until day minus one. And that's the time that we will give you the chemotherapy to prepare your body for the transplant. And then on day zero is a day that you will get the cells infused into your body. And then the next day will be day plus one. So after you get cells infused into your body, the cells will not start to grow right away. It takes, in the autologous situation, about seven to 10 days for the cells start to grow. But in the allogenic uh, situation, it takes longer, probably two to three weeks. During your child's stay in the hospital, the nurses and doctors will pay special attention to signs of problems that may occur after a transplant. Some common problems may include anemia, infection, fluid retention, mouth sores, hair loss, diarrhea, and graft-versus-host disease, GVHD. The way that we, we approach graft-versus-host disease is, is first and foremost to prevent it. Um, and two measures are taken to prevent graft versus disease. One is to find the most suitable donor, um, the most well-matched donor, and second, um, to use medications, much like the medications that are used to prevent rejection of kidney transplants or liver transplants, to prevent the host immune cells from reacting against the patient's body. There are many emotional and physical challenges you and your child will face after a BMT. Looking at the, the emotional and psychological challenges that families and patients face, you know, I think the biggest thing is fear, fear of the unknown. And, and what I work with families on is be, being able to determine the difference between expected problems and unexpected problems.